Well, here we are, guys. Took eight years, but we are now on the precipice of a very fast ascent into a completely dystopian hellhole where we are absolutely controlled and watched by our overlords. And they are now in the process of taking away our freedom to express ourselves online. So I uploaded this video eight years ago. End of age, political stage show, the Jesuit, Muslim invaders, viruses, earth changes, Trump war. And everything that is now unfolding, I warned about in this video eight years ago. And I have been subsequently warning about ever since. Unfortunately, I have been laughed at, hated on, called a fear monger, and people reacted to this information in a very negative way. But the problem is, is when you deny reality and you deny truth, eventually it catches up to you. And there is no more running from the truth. There is no more hiding from reality because this is going to play out in a very, very nasty way. And there is no hiding from what is coming for the West, because they are about to punish us. And this is the reason they have weaponized these illegal immigrants and are pouring them into our countries. And now, if we actually speak out about it, we are being called extremists and accused of racial hatred. So I did actually see about five months ago when I uploaded this video that they were starting to make their moves towards shutting us down completely. And unfortunately, just like I was ignored eight years ago, I'm pretty much ignored now. But that's okay, because the people who are meant to find this knowledge and find this information will find this information. And even though I was the subject of a lot of hatred and negative reactions eight years ago, there were those very few who looked at all of the information that I was piecing back together and took the time to do their own due diligence and verify everything that I was saying for themselves so that they knew that this was absolutely the truth of what had been hidden from us by those who had taken control from the shadows and basically had begun infiltrating every part of our society and stealing all of this knowledge and then creating their own version of history and creating their own version of Christianity. So what we need to understand now, especially if you're one of those who have just woken up in the last three to four years after the COVID card was played on humanity is that the only path you have left to you is the path within. There is no politician coming to save us. We are not going to vote our way out of this. All of these politicians are in on this together and they all serve the same master. All roads really do lead to Rome. And so the only path left to us is the inner path. We have to return to our true nature, our divine nature, and understand the truth of who we are because that is when we take our power back. They cannot take this knowledge from us no matter what they do with our physical shell. They cannot take this knowledge from us. 
So those who were seeking out this knowledge eight years ago and took this information and all of this research and all of my studies to continue on their own path have been doing the work on themselves for the last eight years. Those of you who have only just woken up, you have work to do and your time is short. So do not waste it arguing about what you can do to change the situation, arguing online with each other because all you're doing is wasting your time. It's over. It's over and they're even taking our ability away to express our opinions online and people are now being jailed for that over in the UK. This article was uploaded on the BBC three days ago. This man was charged with anti-establishment rhetoric. Literally speaking out against the traitorous people who have taken control of our governments is now anti-establishment rhetoric. And of course it will be because they are tyrants. They are implementing a completely authoritarian regime. And we are in the process of that right now. So of course they're coming for anybody who is speaking out about it. So if you want to speak out against the illegal immigrants who are being flooded into the country, who are raping young women, murdering women and children, and basically creating a very unsafe situation for the native British people, if you want to actually speak out against that on social media, you are now a criminal. And they don't care that we know who they are anymore. They are revealing themselves as tyrants. And if you think this isn't coming for all of us, then you are delusional. Because this is coming for Australia. This is coming for Canada, New Zealand and America. And I have no doubt that I will also be charged as an extremist who is inciting racial hatred and religious hatred. And because most people have been propagandized to believe that anybody who is speaking out against what these traitors in control of our governments are doing are evil and horrible people, there will be no support from the public. They will readily believe whatever the media tell them. And so there is no help coming for this 40-year-old man. There is no help coming for this um, man over in Igramount. I'm sorry if I've mispronounced that, but he was a 51-year-old who basically just said that um, coming to a town near you and then posted a group of Asian men in appearance at a um, fair. He's concerned about the influx of immigrants into his town. Often they are all gathering together in large groups, intimidating the local people, intimidating the young women. And when he actually speaks out about it, he is now charged for um, posting racially aggravated online social media posts linked to national civil unrest. I will actually post all of these articles underneath if you want to actually read them in more detail. This man here attended a rally, attended a demonstration. You know, please do not attend these demonstrations. We are way beyond that, guys. I have warned about this for years and years and years. They are futile. They change nothing. They do nothing. All they do is put you on their radar. They have facial recognition technology and they are profiling everyone who is attending these demonstrations and then they come and pick you off one by one later. And so this man, this old man, he's 61, he's angry, 
He sees that his town is being inundated with these illegal immigrants, most of them Muslim, and he basically says, you know, something very negative about the religion of these Muslims, which unfortunately for him, he is ignorant to the fact that Muslims, Islam is a monotheistic religion, just like Christianity. Allah is just another name for the Christian God as well. It is the same God, different names. Yes, that triggers a lot of people, but that is the truth. And I really don't care if you are triggered by the truth. But this man, he is now jailed, a 61-year-old man jailed just for expressing himself. Yes, he said words. He said words. Oh, no, he said some words that may have offended some people because he's angry that his town is being inundated with illegal immigrants. And his authoritarian, tyrannical government have now jailed him for that. And this is coming for us all, guys. This is coming for us all. So it's only a matter of time before I get the knock on the door. And I am also called an extremist. And I am basically accused of inciting racial hatred and um, for posting um, anti-establishment rhetoric. Because yes, they are traitors. They are traitors. Our governments have been taken over by traitorous tyrants and I will not recant anything that I said. If they jail me for the truth, then they jail me for the truth. As I said, it doesn't matter because we know the truth about who we really are. When we know the truth about who we really are and we know who they really are and we know their motivation and why they're doing this, it doesn't matter what they do to the physical shell. Sure, I don't want to be imprisoned. I don't want to be tortured. But at the end of the day, they won't defeat me because they will never take full control of my mind and my soul. That's all that matters. And that's what you have to discover for yourself. I can't tell you this. Unfortunately, it's not that easy to understand who you are as a soul. You have to go and do the due diligence. You have to go and do the work. You have to go and look for this information and study this information. And it takes a lot of time, many, many hours, but you are better off spending your time in study of the truth rather than wasting your time arguing about politicians and, you know, arguing about, you know, how we're going to actually vote in our saviour or how this is all the fault of the Democrats or this is all the fault of the um, Republicans or this is all the fault of the Christians or this is all the fault of the progressives or the Muslims or the Hindu or whoever it is that they're trying to make you believe is your enemy. Because we are not each other's enemy, guys. We are being set up against each other. It's the classic divide and conquer, and they have been successful. So we have to wake up and identify that. There is no other path left for us other than the path within. So do not waste what time you have left, what little, little time you have left. Put it to good use. Go and discover the truth for yourself. The path now is the path within. That's all that is left to us. And all the best, guys. You know, really, all the best. I don't know how much longer my channel has before they take it down, but please utilize all of the knowledge that I've provided here and, um, and just... Look, all the best to you and your family. Take care of yourselves out there. And um, may God illuminate your path ahead. Well, as always, guys, take care and peace out.